Sounds like America. The, uh, Royal 60, it's like 350 degrees. What's up guys? We are out here in San Diego, California. We got our buddy Brandon right here. We are actually meeting up with our buddy Mason, who's a longtime friend and has been cruising out to a lot of desert trips with us. His truck is definitely been a lot of inspiration for a lot of people. Super clean build. I mean, it's big time. Absolutely awesome build. So we're gonna catch up with him, maybe cruise around the city with him for a little bit. But before we do that, let's check out his truck. What's up guys? How are you guys? Good to see you, man. So, whose truck is this? This is her truck, actually. Whose truck? Her truck? <laughs> She's running. She's so cute. That's cool, man. So, so tell us about this thing. What year is it? What's going on with this thing? What is this guy? 2007 GMC Sierra 1500, your standard two-wheel drive truck. 2007 yeah, GMC Sierra, okay. Very cool. Leaf springs, motor trans, rear end. Right, right. And obviously street, street legal, but destroys, right? It's not Cali street legal, but it's street legal. Oh, it's not Cali street legal. It's definitely not your basic grocery getter, that's for sure. Oh, uh, no, it gets the groceries. It does? Quickly. <laughs> so it's street legal, <laughs> right? Yeah. To, to the mouth, right? Wink, wink. wink. <laughs> cool, so, uh, dude, this is such an awesome truck. I mean, dude, just looking at it, I've always seen it on the gram, you what know? What do you think of the line that's the that's the uh, dilemma we have right now. This this Linex. Oh, really? What what's up with it? What are we're, people saying about we're it? Take, we're just taking polls on keep it or leave it. Brandon Brand likes it. I do. I don't like it. Well, what's up with it? Well, what is the purpose designed, of that? It was designed to just keep the bedside from chipping. Okay. Like, I mean, functionally, it'll work, but. Right, you know, we're just gonna dive right into this. Usually we start with like the suspension and stuff, but so so tell me about this. What's the purpose so, of, of dropping this right here? The front wheels were, were rocking out the bedsides pretty bad. It was all chipped out. Okay. Just to cover the chips up and prevent any more chips. Um, so my buddy Dallas at the uh, San Diego Linex, we kind of came up with this idea. And okay. Tried to make it flow with the truck, but I don't know if it does or not. Yeah, I mean, I know you're really particular about the way things yeah, are, and not in a bad way, no, but, but that's good. Too. As you guys can see, this thing is beyond clean. You wouldn't even imagine it hitting the dirt, but I mean, I think we could even like cut to a shot right now of this thing in action. So line X right here. Basically, I'm assuming the front tires are shooting out dirt when you're in the desert, and yeah, this is like a typical like spot, rocks. right? Yeah, the, the bedsides just catch catch the rocks a little bit. Right, right, right. So it was just something something different, something we wanted to try. Yeah, I mean, we'll let's, run it for a little bit. Let's, let's take a good shot of the side of it. It looks good, dude. I I think I think this could be a thing. This could be a new trend, man. Not even, but a purposeful trend. We'll see what happens. You know. I mean, I wonder if there's even like, I've heard some guys even put like clear coat, three, yeah. 3M. Yeah, adhesive. Uh, 3M adhesive like uh, clear bra. And that can work too, but I think like the rugged look of this kind of even matches like what you got going on over here yeah, and here, like the you know? Yeah, the rails are good for putting your modelos on. Hey, we got Garrett over here. Garrett's just lurking in the background. What's up, bro? How What's are up, you, dude? man? Good. Dude, where's your camera? It's weird. I don't recognize it's, your face I'm without not, it. I'm off the clock. It's my day off. Ah, okay. Sunday. So let's see. Let's check out the front of this thing, dude. Like I said, you have such a mean front end. So what do, we, what do we got over here? Second gen Missoula race kit. Second gen Missoula race kit. Let's let's check it out. Tell second me what, what comes in the second gen. 3.0 race shock. 3.0 uh, 10 inch 3.2 uh, race series bypass. 2.5 by 2.5 bump and a 2.5... Um, 10 inch pre-runner series coilover and then um the hubs race hubs missoula race hubs okay some method wheels speed locks right on dude and what Those model two is that two and a quarter inch hubs right two and a quarter hubs yeah front and back camera okay. hubs on the rear but two okay and a quarter, yeah very cool. So Missoula is no longer making those kits anymore? I think he's focusing on some of the newer stuff, but I think if you wanted one, he might do it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I've, I've, I've heard that. So Chris Missoula is like the go-to kind of like Chevy guy. Awesome kits, awesome products. But I think like the focus more is more of just kind of like the... I think he's doing like upper arms and yeah. stuff for like the newer trucks. I'm sure whatever he does is... Oh, it's top notch. Yeah. I know. I mean, from the way you drive this thing, it's definitely awesome. Yeah. So what what numbers are we looking at in this thing? Um, it's it's eighteen. 
18? Uh, bumped and strapped, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. 18. Bumped and strapped. And then so wheel tire package, what is it? What do you have uh, again? Method double standard beadlock and a uh, 37 inch Baja TA. So when you say double standard beadlock. Double standard is their wheel design and then beadlock is, you know. Your okay, beadlock. your beadlock. It's a true beadlock, not simulated. Ah, uh, right, right, right. How's how's the steering on this thing, dude? Any steering upgrades? Uh, it's got the stock rack in it. Uh, okay. Original stock rack, like 90,000 miles. What? Then, Are you yeah, serious? Original, yeah, like, since it's been on the kit, I don't know how many miles um, have been on the rack with the suspension on there, but... Okay. It's the first rack that's ever been in the truck, so... No way, dude. Have you had to rebuild it, or...? Nothing. It's a little loose. It's okay for a freshie but um so far so good right on um, dude and you know what the, i think that that's something i've kind of heard has been somewhat of like kind of like a weak point in some of the the chevy gmc trucks is the steering the rack yeah the yeah. steering rack right well but that's usually with like a, a 39 or a 40 inch tires when you start really seeing the problems okay um, but what with the 37 the 37 i think it, it really keeps keeps you from breaking right right for real okay um, I did have to put a pump and a reservoir in it, an upgraded pump and reservoir, um, but other than that, that's it. Right on, dude. And I, I've actually had the pleasure of feeling the, the 18 inches of wheel travel in this thing, and it is freaking amazing, you guys. This thing flows so good. I, I absolutely love this truck so much to where I'm trying to get our Shia's truck on that level but you know it's it, that's the dependable grocery getter well, we can go to vons right now if you want we'll yeah this thing to we, go, we go to vons we actually i saw this truck for the first time in where was it was it columbus Ocotillo. Ocotillo, yeah and i loved it i thought it was awesome james was like oh you know check this truck out and we went home and i was like so i think it's time for me to get a new car <laughs> i'm thinking a truck and i'm thinking exactly like mason's <laughs> exactly like, so so th this was the inspiration dude yeah. Sick. this was the inspo definitely man uh so yeah let's let's move our way back here what, what do we got going back here dude the rear of this truck's pretty basic um it's got a I, I like how you say basic and i'm just like, like starbucks basic <laughs> look at this dude what the this guy I mean, saying compared, basic compared to you know i love the level of basic that these guys have like eh, it's basic and it's just freaking dialed in when i started ordering parts for this thing i had um called chris and i was like whatever i need for the back let's let's do it you know other than links work we didn't link it at the time so stay tuned yeah that's stay tuned coming. that's coming um to be continued but so he sold me the deaver u182 um leaf springs with his shackle and hanger kit some 2.5 uh, bypass okay and then just threw a bed cage in at the time i was riding on a lot of motos so i wanted a bed cage that i can still haul bikes so it'll, it'll hold three bikes well two at this point okay um the trans cooler kind of took away the the option for the third bike but dude i mean to be able to have a truck with these types of capabilities and like be able to fit a bike back here is definitely awesome for what it is it works good <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> See, Ava, you are in it. I'm going to chase you around. Where are you at? Here you go. <laughs> for what it is, it works good, but the truck the truck needs links for sure. You think it's time to go links? Yeah, well, we're going to cage it first. Um, okay. That's up next, hopefully in the next week or so. Um, okay. Who's doing that for you? Uh, Morgan Clark's going to cage the truck. Morgan Clark. I heard that guy knows how to fabricate he, a smidge a little bit. He, he's a, he's, he'll, he'll, he'll figure it you out. Know. Yeah, I think he's, he's got, got it down. Right, you think so? I thought he did arts and crafts. He did arts and crafts. <laughs> did he do arts and crafts? <laughs> so, um, once that's done, then we'll focus on the next step. The next step, links, yeah. which is links, right on. I'm not going to short course it. I want to do the full full kill mode. Okay. So, um, like traditional canoe Traditional, style? you know, four link. I'm going to use uh, Chris's trailing arms and pivot boxes. And okay, so all you're going to keep it all Missoula. Yeah, I try to keep everything as, as Missoula as I can. And that's the OCD in you. That is my Has OCD. to be organized. We got a camber, do, 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 do. Uh, okay. um, full floater in the back. Okay. Um, yeah, let's check it out. So, but so Chris wouldn't sell me a thir uh, third. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, he had a couple housings drawn up, but he wouldn't sell it to me. So I had to go I had to go camber. Ah, oh, come on, Chris. What's up with that? Well, well it, the camber is great. You can't, you can't beat the camber, but... Yeah, the Kemberg stuff is, OCD, is something we you know. see all the time. Yeah. So so that kind of hurt. That kind of was a little jab to the OCD yeah, right there, huh? I had to I had to figure it out. Right on. All right. So uh, again, so bed cage is laid out this way to, to basically have you know some bikes in the back, 
These are your, your coolers back XCBR, here. Yeah, it's a one piece, the big unit. We fried the 4L60 um, after I did the motor swap uh -huh. with the Maruzi. We cooked the uh, 4L60, it's like 350 degrees. The truck was like telling me to shut the truck off and stuff like that. Gotta think, gotta think. Okay, somewhere there's a thingy that tells you how to work this stuff. Bloody Mary's and burritos at Dooner's Diner. Okay. And, uh, we made it, but on the way back, we fried the trans, so. Dang, okay. So, so here's the real nice bed cage setup to keep everything going. Um, we got your single spare right here. We got your uh, your jack. Um, and then you were telling us about the rear end. So, yeah, it's got a, what kind yeah, of rear end's in this it's guy? It's got a camber. Okay. Cambric floater, it's a three and a half inch tube, 35 spline. It's got a Detroit locker in it. I need to re-gear it and go spool, but. So you want to put a spool on it? And you want to re-gear it just for, for how it is. It's still drivable on the freeway, you know what I mean? It'll do like 80 without revving real high, but. Okay. Um, what brakes do you have on here? It's a Willwood four piston in the rear and stock up front. Oh, okay. That's part that's part of their package, the camera setup. Okay. Yeah, dude, Willwoods are super dependable. I mean, most pre-runners, I'd say, you know, you see this thing kind of coming down the street and, you know, you'd be like, oh, cool, a little pre-runner. But, dude, you don't realize, like, this is like a sleeper, dude, with that rear end. And then, you know, you have, like, the shock setup, super clean. And, again, this thing just works so well. And I love this bumper right here. Tell me about this thing. This is so clean. That's a production piece from Missoula. Oh, really? Yeah. It's uh, it's just his Chevy bumper that he does, and, and then we coated it with YNX, color matched it. Of course. Has to match. OCD? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> this looks awesome, man. And it's beefy, right? Straight to the frame? Yeah, right on the frame. Right on. So you were telling me about the motor. And I see the Maruzi hat. So what's yeah, up so, with that? Tell me about this motor, dude. So the truck came with a 4.8. It ran ran great, um, but not great enough. 4.8, okay. Yeah, so we called Robert, built the 6.1. It's his Maruzi special, he calls it. The Maruzi special? The Maruzi special, yeah. It's a three, uh, 370 cubic inch. Like an L, it's like an, it's an LS2 block, um, all aluminum, 525 okay. horse at the flywheel. Dang. Made 325 at the wheels. What do you think that sounds like? Uh, I, I can only like imagine. America to me. <laughs> sounds like America. Good. Can we check this thing out? I mean, would you be able to yeah. maybe pop the hood? Yeah, let's pop the hood. Okay. I can't let go of this thing. We don't right. Have to drop, so. No, we no do. worries. Right here. Oh, look. See, hey, Brandon, you do have a purpose. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty hefty. <laughs> to so today we brought Brandon along to uh, hold the hood. Voila. <laughs> oh, dude, even Ava's repping with the, with the cool hoodie, the Maruzi hoodie. Let's see. Yeah. It's fastest kid, right? <laughs> All right, so 525 horsepower, Maruzi special. Um, how has this, how's the reliability been with this, dude? Reliability is great. Streetability is not too bad. Okay. What do you mean streetability? Well, with the big cam and with like a vacuum brake booster, um, you usually get a lot of like stalling. Really? Try, okay. Yeah, the motor's just. Yeah, because it, it's like a race motor acting as a daily, right? It's going to stoplights, going yeah. through traffic, all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's great. And then what transmission's in it now? Um, it has a 4L85E, it's like a GM performance built trans it's it's like their factory performance trans and uh, it's got a billet converter i don't know the brand converter but it's like a 30 3500 stall i think okay so that? no trans problems everything's been pretty dialed do you have any shops that work on that thing right now no no it's good it's good to go it's good to go it's dialed it's it's balanced it's dialed. all right dude well that's awesome i mean i i think the next thing we got to do now is hear this thing start let's do it i think we got to hear this thing start for sure <laughs> so do you actually daily this thing? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, Lately yeah. I have been. And where do you daily it to? Um, Wherever we gotta go, BMX practice, the grocery store. Buy some cookies. Hello. Sometimes the bar to grab a beer, whatever. Right on, dude. I think he's trying to look for some eagles down there. <laughs> Brandon, what are you doing down there? Oh, I'm looking at the exhaust leak down here. Oh. <laughs> what exhaust do you have on this thing? 
The header package is like an inch and inch and five eighths main uh, primary tubes. Uh, some bootleg setup I got eBay style. Right on, uh, dude. With an off-road Wi pipe and then uh, running a MagnaFlow on it. Oh, cool! Sounds amazing, dude. Thank you. Sounds amazing. Well, let's take a look at the undercarriage in here. How's that drive shaft holding up? Not bad. Not bad? Not bad. Pretty cool. And then so I guess one thing we didn't get to see was the inside of this thing, dude. Let's check it out. Dang. Dude. This is so clean. Well, Those seats are freaking up. comfortable, man. You got the PRPs right here. Oh, there's Ava's spot right there. Right? Yep. Nice, dude. So you're not running the, the other seatbelts yet? We're not doing any harnesses yet until, until it gets caged, but okay. uh, this this mount is all factory bolt-in. Uh, yeah. This will pull get pulled out. Who, who made this thing? This was made by uh, Grant at Firehouse Fab. Okay, Firehouse uh, This Fab. was actually in Cameron's uh, white Paula Dean truck for a while, and then we added a few tubes in the back to get the third seat on there, and then oh, it just nice. recently powder-coated. Nice, dude. So this is like its own, like it's all like bolt into the factory, factory locations on yeah. the on the cab. And then, and then this. Race seats. Okay. It's got a provisions for a uh, handbrake that we haven't put in yet. Okay, so who who handle coming right here yeah, soon? Yeah, who handle like right there, right there. <laughs> but uh, this is all coming out. So nice, dude. And what did you do with the factory airbag from here? Deleted the airbag, put the MPI wheel on. I made a uh, nice. small little bezel to cover up the column and. Nice. Call it a day. Weight reduction kit. <laughs> I gotta sit in this thing, dude. So I've actually sat here before, man, and I mean, like I've said, this thing is just dreamy, dude. It it's, handles it handles so good. And these seats are super comfortable too. Definitely, dude. Are you worried about the uh, the cage? What's your design layout? What are you thinking for the cage? So there's a cage that Morgan did on a white um, extra cab Chevy, and I saw it and I fell in love with the way it was laid out. Yeah. Um, I'm super big on keeping a factory interior look and all that gets retained with his cage. The way he does work is just so dang clean, dude. It's as clean as it gets. I actually just dropped my truck off with Morgan uh, last week too. So dude, I think I just cut in front of you, bro. I'm so sorry. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So I think we're going to grab some food. You guys want some food? Ava, how about you? Let's go eat. Cheeseburger! Cheeseburger. Ava wants a cheeseburger. Dude, you got to show us your town. We will follow you, my friend. All right, dude, let's go grab some food. Hey, Mary Lou. Hi. You guys, Mary Lou is our girl. She handles everything for us. You guys getting your orders on time? Mary Lou. That is me, actually. <laughs> you guys getting everything organized, like with, with just everything that has to deal with apparel over here, Mary Lou, and our Shia puts in our orders. If order, it's Garrett. Yeah, 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 and if anything's messed up, yeah. That's Garrett's fault. <laughs> Garrett, so what is this, like a local burger spot or what? So this place, it used to be called the Carnita Snack Shack. Okay. And they had really bomb sandwiches. And now it's a burger place. Right so on. we're gonna try it out. <laughs> All right guys, so that was it. Mason's built to destroy. We got some other stuff coming up in the works with your truck, right? Cage and Lynx. Morgan Clark's going to be handling that thing. So, yep. till next time, guys, thanks for checking it out. Later. Oh, hi there. <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed what you just saw, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe so we can keep doing what we're doing and bringing you guys awesome content. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to keep tracing this photo so people think I know how to draw. <laughs> Morons. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.